What's up Garage Gym Nation? This is Sam from Garage Gym Reviews. And as many of you know, Coop and I don't always see eye to eye when it comes to gym equipment. Sam decided, hey, I'm not gonna listen to Coop and his recommendation and buy the one that he recommends, even though I really like him and I talk to him all the time. I had tried out power plugs and I honestly like wasn't a huge fan of how they felt. Come on. Uh, I wasn't. I'm sorry. The other day he said we need to do more budget gear reviews, which I completely agree with. However, what he said next was what got me. I don't think that we have enough budget equipment in the building to even build a home gym. Coop's out of town this week. As you guys know, I like to challenge it whenever Coop is gone and he makes statements like that. So here's what we're gonna do today. I'm going to gather up some gear, take about 10 minutes or so, run around the building and try to build a budget home gym. We're going to talk through why I picked the equipment that I did and then talk about some alternatives as well. Let's do it. All right, so for those of you who are new here, we got a brand new 8,400 square foot building. This building is packed full of treadmills, rowers, squat racks, barbells, weight plates, pretty much everything you can possibly think of. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have Nathan, our videographer, he's gonna start the clock for 10 minutes, okay? In that 10 minutes, I'm gonna attempt to grab pretty much everything that I just named off, and we're gonna put together a budget home gym. Nathan, can you do the honors? Let's go! All right, so first off, Squat rack, okay, super important. When picking a budget squat rack, I'm just gonna start with this one. Big reason is I can move it, okay? This is the cap barbell squat rack. Squat stand, has a pull-up bar, is light enough for your eight-year-old to move. Nice thing about this rack is it actually has, I believe, a 700-pound weight capacity. Put weight plates on it, it's got a barbell holder, you got J-cups, you got a pull-up bar. Woo! for 168 bucks. Okay, next is bars. We got tons of those, we got a bunch in there. However, I'm looking for one in particular. One thing I agree with Coupon is don't skip out on your bar. Here she is, the Rogue Echo Bar. Comes in at right around $260. Has Rogue's lifetime warranty with it. It's a solid bar, it will literally last you a lifetime. You need some cardio, 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 cardio. The Blitz Air Bike. This bad boy right here is $699. Free shipping and is a belt driven air bike with a bunch of other random accessories. You can look up the review to find out all about those. We need weight plates. The ones I want to go with are right here. Get these out of here. Not those. Do some rogue echo plates. These bad boys right here. You can get a 260 pound set for, I wanna say, right around five, maybe 580, 590, something like that. Honestly, you can go with Titan, you can go with True Grit, you can go with Rep, but Rogue, they're just as good and they're backed up by Rogue. Let's think, a little winded here. Bench, we got so many benches. Let's, let's do this, back here in the corner. The almighty, True grit flat bench, tripod design, all steel, coming in at a whopping, drum roll please, $99 with free shipping. Am I a huge fan of the pad? No, but tripod design, all steel bench, you got your wheels on the back, 99 bucks, you can't beat it. Okay. Same one you have in your garage, or your uh, basement gym. It is the same one I have in my basement gym, yes, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay, next, I'm a big fan of body weight workouts, okay? Anything you can do with your weight, because typically those types of things are portable, they're easy to use, and they are fairly inexpensive as well. Something we just got in from Kinsui, Olympic gym rings. These can be thrown over your pull-up bar. They're like 69 bucks, which is a little bit more than I would typically spend. However, the cool thing about these is the handles have two different sizes on them, the same handle. So they have a 28 millimeter for half the handle and a 32 millimeter for the other half of the handle. So if you're wanting to do more of a thick grip, you got it. Next thing we're gonna do is dumbbells. Now, these are actually already in here because we've been testing them for a few weeks now. This is the Flybird adjustable dumbbell. I'm gonna tell you here in a little bit why this probably would not be my top pick, but this is a pick. These things are about $360. 
for two of them and they go up to 50 pounds, adjust from five to 50 and have free shipping through Amazon as well. Freaking Jacob. Okay, so next fairly important piece of equipment that I love to work out with, Coop loves to use as well, and there are millions of you that love them, is a kettlebell. Kettlebells can get expensive though. Most of the adjustable kettlebells out there are not that great. Now, I love the Rep Fitness kettle, adjustable kettlebell. They are right around $130 to $160. However, because we're trying to ball on a budget on this one, I'm gonna grab something different. This is the Hyperbell kettlebell adjustment. This is by JFlex, okay? What it is, is this essentially goes around the handle of your dumbbell handle. I actually have tested this on the adjustable Flybird dumbbells and it fits. This thing's about 50 bucks. This is not my favorite kettlebell grip style handle out there. However, we do have a review coming out on it soon. So if that's something you wanna see, like and subscribe. All right, next, med ball. Med ball is great for a whole slew of different workouts. You can do wall balls, you can do sand balls, you can do med balls. But right there, 14 pound ball from good old Titan Fitness. It's right around 50 bucks. You can't beat it other than the Amazon Basics, which is what I use. I personally like them just a little bit better than Titans just because of the price. It's like 35 bucks. Same quality, probably made in the same factory, same ball. Okay, next we need a weight vest because again, you're starting your home gym, body weight is king, okay? So we actually got this massive bend. Oh man, the hyper vest, that's a good one. I don't think I'm gonna go with that one though. Yes, the Condor, the Condor weight vest. This vest is right around 50 bucks for the vest itself. That does not include weights. Now we have done DIY videos on being able to take a 10, 25 pound weight plate and be able to put it in one of these correctly where it's not bouncing up and down. So that's an option we can talk about. If you wanted to just buy the standard weight plates, I believe it's around $90 plus shipping from Rogue for the weight plate instance. Okay, we got just a couple more things that we need to grab. One of those being bands. This has actually become one of my favorite brands. This is Rubber Bandits. You can get the entire pack of bands uh, from very light all the way up to heavy for about 33 bucks. Okay, we're, are we getting short on time? Uh, you got like time for one more thing. One more thing, okay, okay, I know what I want. Back here, the almighty plyo box. This is the Rep Fitness Soft Plyo. Not the most budget pick, however, for this size, I wanna say it might be, is this 30 inch, it's 24, so maybe like right around 150, somewhere in there. All right, boom, we did it right around 10 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, the budget home gym. Let's talk through it. Okay, so we did it. Got you again, Coop. This whole setup right here, this is everything you need. This is a solid home gym build, period, okay? Whether you're on a budget or not, this is everything you need to not only get started, but honestly is going to carry you quite far. This is going to cost you come in at a whopping $2,500. $2,500, that's it. Okay, when talking about squat racks, there is a wide range of prices and quality out there whenever it comes to options for you to purchase. This one I grabbed, it's the cat barbell squat rack, squat stand whatever you wanna call it. It's a decent rack. It's gonna get you started. It's going to hold your weight. It's gonna be you know, fairly safe. There's some things that I would recommend upgrading, like getting a set of safety spotter arms. So if you're squatting or benching alone, you got that extra safety net. But this is a great place to start. However, again, for just a little bit more, there are some other options out there. The top option that I would personally recommend, you're trying to build a gym on a budget, but you want a squat rack that's gonna last you for years. And I'll, I'll be honest, I, I can't say the squat rack's gonna last you for years, right? There's too, too many bolt together components. They're gonna get loose over time. The holes are gonna wallow out. It's just, it's going to happen over time, depending on how much weight you're putting on it and how often you're using it. However, a great alternative to buying a more inexpensive Amazon squat rack is brands like Titan with their scratch and dent site. Now you guys have seen, cause we've done the review on it of like the Titan series racks. I was just on Titan's website right before we hopped on this video, but I've seen this multiple times where they sell 
two of the Titan series uprights. They're in many different colors from white, black, orange, red. And you can typically buy a set of scratch and dent uprights, okay, it's two of them, for like 169 to 250 bucks, just depending on like how many they have, how many they're trying to get rid of. You can then buy a set of cross members for right around 60 bucks and a pull-up bar for right around 50 bucks and voila, you all of a sudden have a wall mounted squat rack. The great thing about that is you decide like, eh, I don't want this mounted to my wall now. I've had it there for a couple years. I, I wanna do something different with the gym. Cool, pick up another couple scratch and dent uprights. All of a sudden you have a four post rack ready to go. It's gonna cost you about double what this is to start with that wall mount rack, but it's a great option with three by three uprights with one inch holes that will give you the ability to use an entire range of different attachments that you would not be able to use on a rack like this. Now I got one more option. It's back here. I know it looks like it's from Toy Story. This would be found in like Andy's weight room, but this is the Rep PR 1100. Now all of this does not come on the 1100, okay? Asterisk there. It is just the squat rack. So it comes with the squat rack, it's got this beautiful pull-up bar up here. You got your safety arms, as we talked about, very important. You got one set of J-cups. It does not come with the weight holders, anything like that in the back. This rack shipped to your door is $379, okay? So again, we're spending a little bit more, going up a little bit. But still, you gotta keep in mind, the rack is super important because this is something that could potentially save your life. This rack could, at $379, have the potential to take you to infinity and beyond. And beyond. All right, that's it. This is the budget bin build. <laughs> All right, that's it. That was the budget gym build that Coop said we couldn't do. Guess what, Coop, we did it. We do, however, wanna get in more budget equipment. We wanna do more reviews on treadmills that do not cost five or $6,000 and bars that are not $1,100. If there's other budget products that you have not seen us test yet, please, please, please drop them in the comments below. That way we can bring them in, take a look at them and compare them side by side to the products that we all know and we all love already. Thanks for coming along and hanging out today. I'm Sam from Garage Gym Reviews and we will see you next time.